anyway. But, I mean, I have a couple gripes with how platform fighters go about. And I would like to tell them to you guys, because I want your opinion. So, there's a couple things. I think, first things first, I don't... Like, I feel like the thing that's good with Melee is how you can tell when people are getting good because they get faster and faster and faster and faster. Like, I feel like, ultimately, Melee is a simple game with mechanics that are very hard to master and, like, are pretty deep. But on its surface, it's, like, a pretty simple game and you have to, like, uncover stuff. But I feel like, for a lot of platform fighters, they kind of give you a lot of things at the start. And I know that isn't absolutely true. Like, there are, like, high-level mechanics that you have to learn and whatever. But I feel like with Melee, like, you watch top-level play and you watch bottom-level play and you can tell what is what. And I feel like sometimes with other platform fighters, it's kind of hard to differentiate because at the end of the day, people are flinging around just hoping they hit each other and hoping something connects. And it feels like people are playing kind of button-mashy. Um... Whether that's true or not, I mean, it's obviously not true. I know that top players in games are not just mashing buttons, but I, uh, like, I, I, that's how I feel at least. And I think that's why melee is cool and speedrunning is cool. Because as you get better, it gives you the dopamine rush of getting to see yourself improve and be faster. Like, being faster is a way that you can kind of gauge how good you're getting you can kind of gauge improvement by being able to do things faster and do faster techniques and stuff and i think ultimately doing things faster is very fun so it kind of sets off sets off your dopamine receptors and it like like when you get better you're actively seeing yourself being able to do faster and cooler things and i don't think that's the case with a lot of platform fighters i feel like typically it's pretty fast off rip. I mean, apparently this game is not. I heard this game slow as shit. But typically, it's about as fast as it's going to get off rip in terms of controlling your character. And the thing that changes is learning how to navigate that and like control it, which is a lot less fun of a skill to learn than it is to learn how to actually operate at that speed. Do you guys know what I mean by that? Like, learning how to go fast is way more fun than learning how to control something that's fast. And I think that is an issue that a lot of uh, platform fighters have, is that they already put you in the fucking F1, like, driver's seat. And you're just like, I don't know how to steer this motherfucking car. And with Melee, you're just, you're kind of just learning how to... You, you're learning how to work up to that, you know? And it's just more fun the better you get because of that. Um, and uh, I remember when I had, used to play StarCraft Two when you had increases in APM and could actually do shit probably. Yeah, like, I think that is... And obviously there's like... There's like some exceptions. Like, I, maybe I'm not 100% ac accurate on that. Obviously, like, better players in games are better for reasons. But I feel like that's why I personally have not enjoyed getting better at platform fighters a lot of the time. It's because of those reasons. And, uh... Yo, Miko Matter, okay. thank you for the prime, bro. Thank you for the prime. And I think another thing I don't like, and this is a gripe I have, I know I'm going to have with multiverses a little bit. There's two things here. I don't like when they overcomplicate stuff. Like, I want it to be simple and easy to understand. I hate the characters like Finn, the human, where he's pulling out fucking books and shit, and you don't know what they do, and you have to learn what all these different modes are. It's like Shulk and Smash Brothers Ultimate. I don't want to have to know what all these different modes do. I kind of want everybody to, to just be playing like the same character. I don't like how also you can get items and change around what your character's moveset does in multiverses. I already know I'm not going to like that because I think it's just all the perks and coins and shit are off-putting to me. I agree because I think you want to just... You want there to be a character, and that's the character. I want everybody to be playing the same characters. I don't want one dude to punch me, and all of a sudden, I'm fucking burning. One guy to punch me, and all of a sudden, I'm, like, stuck there for 20 seconds. Like, I don't want that. 
I want to just be able to learn the fucking moves and play the game. And I feel like the best way for these games to prosper is to just have it be simple on that kind of surface level while it takes effort to actually perfect and like, you know, get faster and like really perfect the mechanics. But that is my issue with a lot of these kind of games because it's just, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. It's just a just a, a a lot like it's just a lot of bullshit that you kind of have to learn it's why i could never get into league of legends that much because a lot of league you're just you're just learning how to like what these items do and i i maybe this is me being too zoomer brained but i don't care to learn how these items are. i like to like i want to learn how mechanics work and like obviously there's like gonna always be some kind of part of that that you have to learn but like yeah it's just i think it ends up being off-putting to new people because it feels like they have to do research first and hop on wikipedia and learn shit whereas at the end of the day we're playing a video game and we're just a bunch of dumb motherfuckers smoking weed and like picking our nose and we want to just sit down on our couch or at our computer and play a video game and just enjoy it and maybe get better as we enjoy it and if we decide that we like it enough maybe you can go in the depths and learn but i feel like no one like wants to do that before they even try a game and know if they like it and i, I feel like it gives people stress sometimes i know it gives me stress when games have those kind of items and perks because i'm like i need to learn what this shit does or i'm at a disadvantage but also do i want to put the effort in to learn what this does probably fucking not so yeah that's my little rant okay that is my tiny little rant of why platform fighters typically do not appeal to me if they're not like melee um and I know that some of this stuff is going to be in multiverses. I know some of it I, I won't like. I'm going to try to see it with an open mind. Truly, I am. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's like that's what I'm expecting to see going into it. Excited to see you shit on this game and then never play again. I mean, I did see some people saying some negative things. Like, for example, Leffen. I mean, Leffen's typically not a beacon of positivity when it comes to these games. But I did, I'll read a tweet. He said, Multiversus, it's a suicide squad of platform fighters. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a cultured man. I don't really know what Suicide Squad is. I just know that they had that fucking 21 Pilot song that sucked ass. That's all I know about Suicide Squad. And then Zane responds. He said, so you trying to game? And Leffen says, I uninstalled it after 20 minutes. So something tells me Suicide Squad, probably not a good thing for this game to be. <laughs> probably not a good thing for this game to be compared to, if you ask me, based on the context clues that I'm reading. So I am going to try my best to you know enjoy this but yeah does anybody know i'm in love with yo Mokey. caitlin thank you for the 22 months i really appreciate that i appreciate it. i appreciate it um does anybody know if this game is still 2v2 focused like am i gonna have to try to find a pal to play this with me or can i just enjoy it 1v1 like i feel like i might just try it like that's another okay that's another stupid thing about this game why like, why is it 2v2 focused? I feel like nobody asked for that. I feel like when doubles has been, like, shunned in every kind of platform fighting game because it's just... It's hard to follow along with and just not as fun. I, like... I don't know. I feel like no one wants, like, a 2v2 game like this. Like, like I, I, I don't know. Like, even in this tweet man when i went live and i said oh boy try multi this guy just says you're going to have a time that doesn't set me up for <laughs> you know an exciting experience but i'm gonna turn on the game and give it my all i enjoyed jake the dog a lot when i played i really did he was my character i liked playing jake the dog so i think i'm just gonna play jake the dog and see if i'm having a fun time and that's what I'm going to do. This isn't the game where I had a nasty granny. That's Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Feels kind of silly to denounce the people who are actually looking forward to a game focused on doubles. They usually get shafted. 
I don't know, man. I feel like, like, I feel like doubles, like, if they really excelled and made it dope, it would be cool. But I just feel like it's really hard to actually have that be the focus. And I feel like if you're having doubles be the focus, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot with the game being a, uh, with the game being like a popular hit success. Because it makes it, like, I don't know. It's just it's just hard for 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 people to to like really get into it. All right, I have a question. What controller should I use? So I have GameCube controllers. I have keyboards, and I have a PS4 controller or PS5. Should I just use a PlayStation? It's a niche. If every what is this? It's a niche. If every game tried to appeal to the widest audience, we'd have way less great games. I mean, that is true, but the thing is, I feel like a game like this is trying to appeal to the widest audience because they're putting fucking Batman in it, and they are making it free to play. Like, they're trying to, like, Fortnite this genre, so I feel like they are trying to... Like, they put motherfucking LeBron James, bro. Like, you can dunk on motherfuckers, okay? Like, I... Like I I I think they are trying to appeal to a very wide audience here from, like, out the gates. And the thing is, again, AJ, I'm not absolutely hating on doubles as a thing. If they did it well, I'm all for it. If the game slaps, I'm all for it. I just think that you're setting yourself up for, like, a, like, like a hill to have to climb. Like, you are... If you're trying to make a platform fighter that is mostly doubles then I feel like you're picking, like, the biggest hill that you can climb. Like, you have, like, I'm trying to think of mountains, bro. Uh, like, you have Mount Everest here, and then you have a mountain over here that's, like, smaller than Mount Everest. And you're choosing to climb Everest. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, <laughs> look, I, that is, that's all I'm saying. I wish I knew more mountains, so I, I could have name-dropped another, but you guys understand my my uh <laughs> my point there all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna boot up the game dude it looks like i'm mario do you guys see this